Hey guys, D-Mike here from our episode of Pikmin 2. Last time we were able to clear out the final treasure above ground in the perplexing pool and today we are going to tackle the final watery scary dungeon of this area. Prepare yourselves. Things are going to get a little moist. It's for your health though. And if you enjoy splish splashing around underground, underwater, maybe consider liking this video, commenting if you haven't, and subscribing for more watery content. So, this dungeon, unlike some of the others, requires, at first, the usage of only blue Pikmin. You will not be able to take any other Pikmin underground with you, in this case, underwater. So you're going to want to make sure that you've got a fully stacked squad of blue Pikmin, which if you haven't, it's really convenient to pop over here and flower your blue Pikmin. I would recommend taking as many advantages into this dungeon as you can. If we all remember these little pieces of grass, when you pull them up out of the ground, are typically going to be the ones that will yield little blobs of nectar. So you should have enough, I do believe, to fully flower all of your blue Pikmin. You're going to want to only probably take somewhere in the realm of 85 with you. I don't know how I lost five of them. Uh, guys? Did somebody take a detour? This is one of the things that's a little frustrating with Pikmin. Oh, I do have them, okay. So, your Pikmin aren't necessarily going to be the most steadfast in following directions, so you're gonna wanna keep good tabs on them. The enemies in this area have respawned, at least the ones in the far back that we've already kind of cleared out. So, I'm gonna go ahead and say just tread lightly going over these tree branches. Making sure that your full squad is going to be in attendance here. It's really easy for them to get distracted and to not follow along. So instead, we do have the Cromads. We do have the little lily pad things. Hopefully everybody's still with us. We're just gonna stream on ahead to the dungeon cutscene. Here we go. One last reprieve from the radar before we go into the deep. Yes, it is submerged in liquid and our fancy pants radar doesn't want to join us, but that's too bad. You don't have a choice. So here we go, everybody. Prepare yourselves. This is the most difficult dungeon of the perplexing pool and one of the most difficult in the game. As you can see, only Blue Pikmin with us to start, but there are dangers from every type of Pikmin. How is that going to be managed? You'll have to find out. I'll see you in a moment. Okay, everybody. Hopefully you're ready to get moist. It's gonna get crazy. All right, so first things first. You only have blue Pikmin and you have fire spouts. So you might be thinking to yourself, how do I do this? Well, you just gotta go speedy quick. There's a lot of dangers in this dungeon that are things that you're not technically equipped to be able to fight, which is kind of annoying, but it is what it is. Conveniently, though, the game has thrown us a bone. This is normally a fiery Bulblax, which the game has kindly tossed into the water, so we don't have to worry about it. It does have a nectar and a little bit of treasure inside of it. Very cool. Moving right along. Treasure number two is right next to it. Greatly appreciate that. And then we have another fiery spout. If your Pikmin do catch on fire, which they probably will, it's kind of hard for them not to. Um... Have them attack the fiery spout in a little circle as fast as they can. So here we go, treasure number one. The bug bait. Just make sure you make sure you whistle your Pikmin before they catch on fire. Jeez, game. All right, so that's good. Should be able to roll with the crew that is taking the treasures back to gather the final one, which is the other direction. So once treasure number two is secure, we will grab them and move along, like I know you will. Okay, this is the pastry wheel. Looks like a wheel of a skateboard. Cause I like to skateboard. All right, we're gonna try to ignore this um, puffy blowhog here. 
just run past it. You'll have about five or so minutes per floor to be able to dispatch all the enemies slash treasures before something nasty comes and gets you. So I won't spoil it until we see it. Hopefully we won't see it for a couple more floors, but a man can dream. All right, so we're going to try to sneak past the puffy blowhog. Probably not going to be able to do that right away anyway, because he's going to... Ah, oh, we were so close. Get him, get him, get him. Whistle your blues away. I'm going to try to set you on fire. Whistle everybody back to safety. Just carry everything, whatever. It's right there. Let's go quick. We're going to see how long I can keep these 85 Pikmin alive. This is the trick. This is one of the trickiest dungeons in the entire game. I absolutely hate it. It's probably my least favorite dungeon. It's definitely the the toughest of the mid game the diet doomer that looks like another truffle or like a taffy yeah it's definitely the toughest all right but we already have olimar and we are ready to go okay here we go this is when things are starting to get a little gnarly we're gonna make some new friends and some new foes actually so we'll see what the rng has in store for us here it appears that our new friends are actually right around this this door here, which is interesting. They're coming right for us. We'll use our Pikmin squad to knock down this wall and then, uh, yeah, swarm it. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Lost a couple of blues, but in the process, we're going to gain 10 new friends. These are... Bull borbs that have been infected by some sort of a parasite, and in the process, they have become capable of our control. So it's kind of neat. Not really sure exactly how that works, but um, in the process, we actually need to run away from this. This is the Dirigia beetle. We don't want to get near it right now. Well, it has a bomb rock. It'd be cool if it could blow itself up, but unfortunately not. So, oh, no, we're going to go this way. We're going to go this way. We're gonna go this way. Not have it blow our Pikmin up. You gotta be careful with this one. Thankfully, there's only one on this floor, so taking him out's not too bad, but we're gonna take out the bull borb that's right here. This is just a regular bull borb, regular orange bull borb. Not too bad. And then we're going to attack this. This opens up the exit, actually, and have our Pikmin work together. Now, what's interesting is that Boldman the parasitic Pikmin that we were just meeting along with this treasure that I almost forgot are um, immune to danger. So any sort of uh, fire, electricity, poison, anything like that, they are fully immune. And you're going to definitely appreciate their contributions on the next floor. Okay, so this is the comfort cookie, straight out of Yoshi's Cookie. Those of you who have played that game, maybe on the NES or the Game Boy, that's how I played it. All right. Try to have our full squad here focusing on the treasures. Hopefully we'll be able to get this floor done under the five minute mark. It's definitely something worth aspiring to. Confection hoop, it looks like brown duct tape. Actually, I think I was wrong. I think there's one more dirigibug. bug. That's the one with the balloons and the bomb rocks. There's one that's down here. So first things first is go ahead and kill this orange bull board. I love that any, any amount of Pikmin can kill it just uh, by landing on it. I think that's hilarious. All right, well, it appears that the dirigibug bug did not spawn, which is nice. So instead, we will take our merry band of Pikmin and Boldman and grab the final treasure with as many Pikmin as we can possibly surround it with. Definitely take some care to, uh... Take some care to protect your Boldmen. Um... They are... a... unparalleled necessity. There is nothing like the Boldmen in this dungeon, and you will need them if you want to be successful, so... Just something to keep in mind. Let's go ahead and clear this Boldmen out of the... or this Bulborb out of the way. 
As you can see, we've got Dweevils here, which are really annoying, and they will steal your Pikmin. Now, one of the things to be mindful of is these are regular Dweevils, as far as I'm aware. Um, there are Electric Dweevils, there are Bomb Rock Dweevils that will be featured in future floors. This is a Fire Dweevil, which isn't as bad. Um, but yeah, there's some real bad ones that are coming up, and you just gotta be hopefully ready for it. Oh, we have one few Pikmin. No, 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 no. Oh, there's a third Dweevil. I thought there was only two. All right, get him. Get him! Just be ready to whistle your boys back. All right, everybody, calm down. You're getting a little hot under the collar. I get it. Things are getting a little spicy in the neighborhood. But we should be good once this delicious treat is taken back. That should be good. We're doing decently with the amount of Pikmin not being completely miserable and being destroyed yet, so don't worry, it's coming. Things are gonna get real bad. All right, so I believe that the exit was over here where the Dweevil was. It's kind of nice though that you can just leave your Pikmin in random combinations all over the floor once you get all the treasure. So once they finally manage to... Now they got it, I think. Well, almost there. Once they can manage the final treasure. This is why I usually like to leave one captain. Okay, there we go. I was getting a little nervous. Okay, here we go. The chocolate cushion. Very nice. A little cushion for the potion. All right. Very nice. Yeah, and you don't even need to have any of your Pikmin under your control, really. You can just go for it. Okay, here is where things start to get kind of ridiculous. And I will warn you in advance that your bold men will become your best friends. So, first things first, throw all of your blue Pikmin up here. Every single one that you've got. You're only going to want to use your bold men for the majority of the beginning of this part of the dungeon. Okay, a few more. All right, now we're just down to Boldman. You're gonna only wanna use your Boldman to clear out the rest of the dungeon. Why? Because your blue Pikmin are essentially useless here. Um, they can't really, they're not good with doing damage. They aren't immune to anything. And if you're not quick, obviously you'll run into the nastiness that is awaiting us in the future. So, we actually have, whoa, wait, hold on. We actually do have a little bit of use for blue Pikmin right here. Hooray, we can swarm the second Boldman mother. We can stop eating our Pikmin, very good. All right, we got five more. So that's good. Let's go ahead and put our blue Pikmin up here. I don't know if the thing that I keep alluding to that is the nasty, the big nasty of this dungeon is immune to, um, if, Boldmen are immune to it, I doubt it. The thing that I'm referring to is something that can crush you, so I don't know. We have eight, oh wait, hold on a second. Is there a blue in there? No, we have 18 Boldmen, I thought we, okay. I was confused, I thought you only got five from that, apparently you got more than that, very cool. But we're gonna move quickly to try to uh, take out all these obstacles to make it cleared out for um, the rest of our Pikmin. So this guy is an electric Dweevil, I believe. We're gonna try to kill him real quick. As fast as we can. My Boldman could not misfire rapidly. Yeah, so they're not not—they're not bothered by any sort of a threat. The weird thing though is that you don't get to keep them, so you gotta take advantage of them while you can, like some people do in life. Some people love taking advantage of you while they can. All right, here we got an Anode Beetle. We're gonna go ahead and rock its world here. Put a little spark in its life, dead, very good. And we're just gonna keep on moving as fast as we can. Like I said, you got about five-ish minutes per floor to gather all the treasures. It does not look like there's anything over here. Unfortunately, I'm going probably a really dumb way. Not surprising. All right, here we go, another electric. We got another anode beetle here. You just need one to, to get it flipped over and then your other Pikmin can dogpile on it. Our bulb a pile on it, probably a better thing to say. We got another electric dweevil. Here we go. And your bulb men are pretty decent fighters. They're not like, they're not gonna be as good as your, uh, like your reds or purples or anything like that, but they are decent fighters. Okay, and then I saw, hold on. Let's break off here for a second. We do have a wall 
that I want to take down, and I probably need a decent population of Pikmin to do that. I don't know what's behind said wall, but hopefully it's a treasure. It appears to be. So we'll have our blue Pikmin do that. And then we'll have Louie continue with the Boldman. Is there a... Okay, there's electricity leading to the exit, which is actually really annoying. Probably worry about that in a little bit. I'm just getting kind of nervous because I know what's coming and I've, I haven't gotten any treasure yet, so obviously need to probably move a little quicker. I don't know if Boldman are immune to being crushed. There's a Wally Wog right there, which could obviously prove to me whether or not that's true. But they are immune to electricity, which is important because there's a lot of electricity traps in here. Okay, so there's the first treasure. I think there's four on this floor, maybe. The compelling cookie. Very nice. Okay. And we're going to try to avoid this, I guess. There's another treasure back behind this wall. Another anode beetle to get rid of. Give it the old flip. Kind of makes me think of those uh, enemies that you could flip with your... Um, with your shield in, uh, like, Link's Awakening or Link to the Past and stuff. Another Puffy Blowhog. Only gonna be able to do as much damage as they can muster in one little boost, but thankfully they already have... Already, they've already been deflowered, so we don't have to worry about that. They are also incapable of being hurt by water and other obstacles like that. Very good. Nope. Run away. I don't want to risk this. Stay away from me. There's another treasure back here. Hopefully my Boldman can take this down really quickly. There's two treasures here. I don't think we're gonna have enough Boldman to get both of them done. There's a Puffy Blowhog right here though. I don't think this is the one that has any sort of uh, treasure occupying it though. But remember, your, uh, your blue Pikmin, once again, cannot touch electricity, anything like that. We got a feeling, yeah, so here's the big bad of the, uh, of the dungeon. This is really annoying and one of the Frustrating things to deal with. This is the water wraith. This is why I was saying that it's probably for the best that you put your um, your blue Pikmin up high. I don't know where it is exactly, but I'm just gonna do that again. It can't get your Pikmin up here, so I'm just gonna try to like mass throw them as fast as I can. Probably wasn't the best idea to bring this many blues with me. I don't really need this many, but it is what it is. I'm gonna try to be cognizant of that. I don't think it can get through this hallway. It did kill the Wallywog though, that's pretty cool. All right, so we have enough for that. I'm just a little nervous that it's gonna pop out and try to kill the remaining Pikmin that I have, which would be uncool. Are you guys stuck? Oh, it's got a Dweevil with it. I was like, what is happening? Yeah, once the, um, once the Wraith pops in here, um, it usually can't like navigate small corridors very well. So you got that going for you. One of my Pikmin died. I think it was one of my one of my Boldman, which is a, yeah, that's a little frustrating losing a Boldman. Um, you just gotta be careful. Once it pops up though, the Water Wraith. Um, I mean, it is what it is. That's it. It can't navigate small corridors very well. So you got that going for you, I guess. I'm gonna need some blues, unfortunately. But my Pikmin are pretty much safe up here. It's gonna go after your captains. That's kind of what it, what it really wants to do. But we're right here by the, uh, right here by this. So I'm just trying to be careful. And there's also a side, side, I guess, thing to get is the, um, there's a candy pop bud right here. Usually it'll stay away from, uh, the majority of your Pikmin. As long as we can get to this in time before it doesn't crush us. Nope, run. Actually, it looks like it got distracted. I don't really know the AI of how this works, but... All right, Boldman, go faster. Faster, my Boldman! Yeah, so far, so good. It looks like it's kind of distracted, but I don't trust it. Oh, this looks like another one of those cookies, just very burnt. The succulent mattress. Okay, whatever. All right, good. So we should be able to carry back the other treasure with all of the Boldman, which we will do. I'm gonna take down this wall really quick. I'm just gonna save the blues and leave them up there. It's not really worth it. 
and we're already halfway, more than halfway through the dungeon. This dungeon's only five floors, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm aware. All right. Actually, what would be good is maybe if we can get some blues here. Just grab a handful of those. It's quite a bit, actually. I don't, need to, I don't really need this many, but... Um, use your blues to, to carry this. Hopefully we have enough to get back to the... Yeah, back to the radar. All right. Very good. Go. I don't know if the water wraith is confused or if it doesn't know where I am. <laughs> Usually it's pretty gnarly and it will uh, poop all over you. We actually do still need our boldman for one last, um, one last thing. So in the meantime, I'll throw the blues back up here. Don't really need the blues in the moment. They're only really necessary to make that happen. Oh, I don't want to throw the boldman. That's okay. What I need to do, though, is the exit is blocked by electricity, so you just got to be careful with that. Okay, the activity arouser, and obviously you don't have to get the poison Pikmin, but you won't be able to complete this dungeon without it, so all we need to do now is run, <laughs> is run, it's coming in hot, we need to get some poison Pikmin from the candy pop bud, and then we need to find the exit. Which I don't know where it is. It is where? I know that we saw it. Uh, that's the entrance. I don't remember. I do remember, I do remember feasting my eyes on it. There it is. Oh, it's covered. It's not, eh, it looks like that actually is. Electric electricity is, is blocking the way. It is weird though that the. Oh, I guess I already took care of it. Never mind. That's fine. All right. Well, in that case, um, I'm gonna take the blues that I do have, and I'm going to go to the candy pop bud and get some whites. Exchange them real quick. I mean, realistically speaking, it doesn't matter what you choose. It probably makes more sense to take the uh, the boldman to do this because. You can't take them with you when you go above ground, but I'm already at a point now where, you know, I just want to get the heck out of here. All right, you're all supposed to be helping. What is going on here? The water wraith is just like, hey, I just want to kill you guys. All right, good enough. That was a pretty excellent floor. Okay, sub-level floor. Things... Sub-level floor. Sub-level four. All right, things are going to get kind of messy here. Um, first things first, as you can see, is poison. So... Oops. You can... All right, don't don't get in there. Boldman and your... Um, your Boldman and your White Pikmin are the ones that are obviously going to be immune to stuff, as per usual. We only have the, the five-minute timer, once again. But you have to be careful here because... Um, there's bomb rocks first. It's really annoying. That's going to be a common th common thread about this dungeon. We have. Oh, get away from us! Get away from us! Stay away from us! Just explode and kill yourself. All right. No one likes you anyway. All right. So we're going to put some of our Pikmin on this wall. Some of our Pikmin on this wall. Going to bring. Some of the boldmen over here to take care of this poison spout. Looks like there is another boldmen mo- Oh, nope, nope, nope. Get away. Yeah, this floor is full of nasties. So prepare yourself. We are going to use just the boldmen here. We should have them only selected, which is good. No, get away, get away, get away. Nope. Not today, you don't. Oh, that actually took out the poison spout. That's kind of convenient. All right, so we'll whistle off for a second and try to regroup here. That looks like a nectar egg, not really something I care too much about. We have another Boldman Mama here. Get our last outcropping of a Boldman Mama, a Boldman. I not like it has any Boldman. It's kind of annoying. Get away from us, get away from us, get away from us, get away from us. Kill yourself. Okay. Oh no! Oh, I was doing so well. It doesn't actually look like it has any Boldman with it, which is annoying. It was all a lie. Okay. So I don't know. Okay, there's no treasure back here. Just more bomb rocks trying to murder me on the reg. What else is new? All right, we got nectar here though, which is, I mean, 
Whatever. Not super useful. We just want to make sure that we have enough of the various types of Pikmin that I are that I are in need of, that I am in need of. Alright, there's probably a treasure in here, if I'd guess. Is there anything? Is there anything? Is there not something? Hold on, is there something? No? Alright, it's probably referring to this wall, which has oh no. Nope, 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 nope. Blow up the dirge bug. Oh, he's the one that did that. Okay, well, hold on. Watch out. Stay away from it. Alright. Alright, now you've made me angry. I was doing really well. I've only lost a handful of Pikmin. But we need to hurry up, because... Oh, boy. <laughs> Come over here. Don't you do that. No, 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 no. Run. Run, blue Pikmin. No, you're so committed to working. You die for capitalism. It wasn't worth it. It's never worth it to die for your company. All right, get him. The Dirigibugs bugs are one of the new, really annoying enemies. I have not really gathered pretty much any of the treasures here. And I really need to hurry up, so. Deviled ham. I don't even know what that means. But it sounds horrible. I don't want any white Pikmin carrying that, so hopefully they aren't carrying it. Can never be too sure. They probably are. Okay. Great. Actually, I don't know if there's any water, really, that is going to cause us problems. But I guarantee there's probably a ton more other crap that I have to deal with. There's no real high spots to safely hide my Pikmin. Actually, I could probably hide... The Pikmin in here. The white Pikmin are back there. Let's grab the Boldmans. Not the not the blue. Alright. Ooh, for a second I thought that that was gonna be the water wraith. My butthole puckered. Ew, deviled ham spread, drone su Ew, drone supplies, what does that mean? Alright, let's throw the blue. Actually, let's let's get you all real tucked in here. Or not. Whatever. Okay, Boldman. Let's go. We got work to do. Olimar, get back out here and grab the rest of the crew, and you guys can all... If I actually boop a doop a doop them, I can just have them huddle back. All right, good. So this is kind of the safe way to approach things, is using your Boldman to your advantage. Staying away from the stupid bomb rock jerks. Oh, here we go. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, no. You killed my Boldmans. Do I have any of them left with me? Okay, I have a handful. That's okay. As long as I didn't lose everything. Where's the... Oh, here's the exit. Here we go. I have eight of them left. Where's the... Man, these stupid bomb rock guys are jerks. I do not... Oh, and they're just dropping bombs everywhere. All right, here we go. This is the... Is the water wraith already... Did it drop the water wraith and not tell me? It sounds like it. I can hear it. This is what the thing. This is what this game does. It's on my heckin' nerves. All right, but we're hiding in the corner, so we're good. I don't think it can get in there. Hopefully not. Hello. It just wants to come after your captains, really. Nope. Don't you kill my Boldmans. All right. So apparently we're okay. It's all tucked in. It's just gonna hang out. You can probably almost like. Use one of your captains to sort of distract it. I don't know how many more treasures there are. There's the one. And I don't know if it can, like... I don't want to find out, but I don't know if it can wedge itself in there. It's going to try to come after me, though. Hey, I'm just hanging out. I'm just hanging out over here. Kind of distract it a little bit. Give it the run around. Be nice if it could open up this little ground butthole, because if it could do that then I would be able to save a ton more time, but unfortunately that is not what is going to happen. I just have to waste a ton of time hoping that my my Boldman can... Oh yeah, blow him up, get him! What happens if this happens? Okay, great. <laughs> oh jeez, that takes a ton of HP away. I gotta be careful. I don't want to lose a captain because of that. Yeah, I think that realistically I just need to use Louie to kind of lure him away. louie -er him away. Okay, that's not the best joke I could have made. Can I get him to go this way? I just lure him completely away from my team. There's another bomb rock. That's why this floor sucks. It's all kinds of crap. Alright, come this way. 
All right, so my bulbmen are doing fine. Don't you? No, don't go in there. There's nothing in there for you. But I actually do need to lure him away or else I'm not going to be able to get him to... I'm not going to have enough space to... Oh, no, he's kill he killed my bulbmen. Wait, what? Oh, he killed two of my bulbmen. What a jerk. All right, well, in that case, I need... No, get away from me, Glint Beetle. I need some blues. Hello? Anybody? No, I don't need all of you. I just... No, 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 no. Yeah, whatever. This does nothing. Okay, I don't want you guys out in the hallway, though. Like a bunch of ding-dongs. I guess I don't really need my poison Pikmin anymore, but... I would like you guys all to... Spread out. Alright, so I got my two Boldmen here. My two remaining Boldmen out of, like, 30 that I... Not really 30, but you get what I'm saying. You get but I'm make you making stuff up. Alright, so. Alright, so I want them to take this. Don't you come in here! Stay away. Alright, I need to distract it. I need to distract it. Oh, okay, he just ran over Olimar. <laughs> just kinda gave him oh, he's run over him again. Don't you crush my bulbman. Don't you no, no, no! Stay away from- Oh, you butthole. I was so close. All right, Blues, it's up to you then. Can you do this fast enough that he's not going to kill you? This is the danger. Here we go. I think we'll be able to make it. I don't know how many more treasures there are on this floor. That was at least two, right? Three, two? I don't know. Another battery. The Proton AA. All right, so we are not done. That is horrible news. Uh, I don't know where the final treasure is. Hopefully it's not underground, because that would be a huge pain in my butt. Does not appear to be this way. I also don't know... All right, we're still tucked in. I had to make sure that I wasn't leaving my Pikmin hang hanging out to dry. That'd be really unfortunate. So we got a little band of blues and... Boldman. It says that it's like getting stronger as I go this way, but I don't know... Nope, 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 stay away. Nope. You can kind of juke it a little bit. Not easily. Ah, no. Stay away from me. Please stay away from Oh, is it under- is it buried? Ugh. It's gonna really annoy me. Yeah, it is. So this is- nope. Nope, not today. Alright, so we're gonna reconvene here in a moment. We are gonna take a second, and we are going to hide. This is why you need your white Pikmin. And I guess it's kind of required. I didn't know that. Good to know. Um, I want to have whites and blues very carefully. And then I want to switch to Olimar and have Olimar run interference here for me. I want him to just be a big old distraction with the, uh, the water wraith. They typically only want to come after your captains, which I think is weird, but whatever, we'll take it. If I could get him to go, yeah, let's go. Let's go this way. No, 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 no. No, 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 there's nothing in there. Nothing in there. Just, uh, we're just hanging out. We're having a good time. All right, come on. We're having a good time. All right, come in here and just try to come in. Yeah, there we go. All right. So, distraction created. Hopefully, my white Pikmin or my blue Pikmin can quickly enough manage this. Oh, he's coming back. He's coming back. He's coming back. Come back. Nope, distraction. Distraction, Olimar, please. Distract. Distract him. I oh, was it saying there's something over... Oh, it's in the glint beetle? Ugh, that's annoying. All right, but I need to still get this. I believe there's something... Is there something buried in here? Oh, it's two bomb rocks. Not cool. Three bomb rocks. Yeah, um, this... This dungeon is absolutely hellacious. What is it? What, what? I don't understand. Oh, it's, it is the glint beetle. Okay, so that's confirmed. All right, hurry. Just, just take it. Is that the last thing on this floor? Please. Please be the last thing. Okay, that looks like butter. The pale passion. Is that it? Please. 
Okay, oof, we did it. Okay. Viewers, we did it. Alright, so switch to Olimar and <laughs> immediately get crushed in the process. Alright, I don't remember where the exit is. Map, help us. Where's the exit? Uh, is that it? Wait, hold on. That's the entrance, isn't it? Where's the ground butthole of... Alright. <laughs> I'm just putting Olimar through his paces, right? Oh, it's still not blocked. Oh, no. Alright. I don't want to risk murdering all of my Pikmin, so just, uh, you know, just most. Let's just take most of them. All right, where is, where was that? This direction. Nope, nope, no, 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 nope, 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 nope. Nope. We're just going to bring it around town. Just going to bring it around town. Realistically speaking, your blue Pikmin aren't really what you need to finish this dungeon anyway, so a little bit of a surprise for you. I feel like I'm, like, hemming myself in. Getting myself aggressively murdered in the process. Oh, there he is. Come this way. Oh, that's all my blue Pikmin. Well, that wasn't the smartest thing I've done today. If I can have him chase me up here, then that should free Louie to make a run for it. Which direction we run for is the question. Okay. Go chase Olimar for a hot second. Everybody else run. I don't think I have any whites with me, which is good. All right, the exit is just ahead. We just need to hurry up and take out the take out the crusty butt. I'm not seeing my my Pikmin number dwindle on the right side, so that should be okay. Hurry, hurry up, come on. I don't think that we're in any sort of danger, though. At least as far as this goes. All right, that's good. We're getting the heck out of here. All right, everybody. The final floor of this miserable dungeon. Yikes. Are you still with me? Are you still doing okay? Hang in there, viewers. There's nectar for you. This is something that's really important. So you can't take your Boldman with you. And the game... Um, doesn't tell you that, but you're going to really want, um, purples. I mean, it, they're giving you a violet candy pop bud for a reason, but, like, you really want purples. You actually can't beat this level without them, so just something to be uh, mindful of. You need purples, and I think that the game gives you, um... Plenty of nectar, which is nice. I hope that it gives you more than just five. It would be kind of a jerk move if it was only five. Hopefully it's ten. Maybe. This looks like a, an arena that I don't want to enter yet. Are there? Is there another candy pop bud behind this? Yes, definitely you're going to need purples. I mean, there you go. Ten. That's nice. You have to have purples. It, it is a requirement. So you can use whatever blues you have left. You don't really need whites anymore. Um, but yeah. Okay, hop in there. I don't know why, but it's very cathartic to hear that withering sound. Yeah, so here we go. We are just about ready to uh, deal with this nonsense. We have one final fight ahead of us. Can you guess who it is? I bet you'll never figure it out. All right, so that's the exit. So here's what I recommend doing. Put your purples with one captain. Put everybody else with another captain. And, uh, well, first things first, obviously, we gotta tear down this wall. I guess that was kind of stupid, but... You're gonna want your purples here. You're gonna need your purples. They're gonna be your... Your magic. So prepare yourself. Here we go. Look who it is! It's the Water Wraith. Now you're going to find something weird, is that the Water Wraith, for some reason, really does not like Purple Pikmin. It's incredibly weak to them, I don't know why, but you can only attack it with Purple Pikmin. That's the only Pikmin that it, that it is weak to. 
So we lost one already, that's not good. But yeah, you can only attack it with purples. And once you do, I mean, you can make pretty quick work of it once it turns into like this weird... Oh, I killed another one. That's uncool. But yeah, you get it. You only need really one. You just have to hit it with one. And then you can spicy spray, I guess, and maybe that'll hurry it up. Get that going. Yeah, just one. Just one purple will uh, freeze it. Get them out of the way, get them out of the way. And then it, and when it's in its stun form. Oh, that didn't do any damage. <laughs> That's annoying. It's not that fast either, so you can really, for some reason, once it gets hit by purples, and it's in its little, uh, its own purple, like, kind of stunned sludge form, you can just do damage, and then that's it. Okay, well, get him. There we go. Almost done. But we're not done yet. So, it's running away like a crazy beast here. It's gonna run around like an, an insane little thing for a little bit. Once you hit him with the purples, though, there's nowhere for it to go. And then you can just kind of dogpile on it. It's really vulnerable right here, so it can't do anything to you. Got hit with purples. Key just kind of looks like one of those wacky waving inflatable arm filling tube mans, but yeah, you can just put it through the misery it put you through, so he's just gonna keep running away. Game is really not a fan of the of the, of the water wraith and it just tanking the uh, I don't have any purples with me, do I? Yeah, I do. There we go. He's almost dead. So stop running around, you big ding dong. He gets a little out of breath. He's I don't know what, I don't quite understand the gimmick of like it being weak to the purples. Also, apparently I'm not doing what I was doing before because it is not losing any health. <laughs> Which is really annoying because I, I was just about done. Come on. I don't think it can hurt your Pikmin anymore though, so it's just kind of a matter of dealing with this garbage. Come on, game. I don't have time for this crap. I do like its, its change of music though. It's a little bit more frantic now. Is that not... Am I not hitting it in the right spot? Can I swarm it? That's what I was doing before. Okay. What am I doing wrong here? I <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm not doing anything different. Except for getting more angry. It's also getting health back, which I don't like. Can I petrify it? There we go. Can we attack it now? Is it immune to my advances? It doesn't look like I'm doing any more damage to it. Oh, I think I killed it. Off screen. <laughs> Oops. But uh, there's the treasure of the dungeon. Here we go. Finally. But what was it? Good question. A bright red component, my favorite color. Wonderfully done. And yeah, there you go. Carry that back to the old uh, radar and we'll get the heck out of here. Not the, not the best dungeon and not the best run through I'm sure of people who have played this before but you know I was going through that mostly blind also the RNG makes sure that you do so there we go this is going to be a new component that's going to enhance something we'll find out in a second here we go what did we win viewers oh viewers the professional noisemaker that's what people call me Oh, okay, a little bit of jealousy from the uh, from the radar. The alarm clock. Oh, the pluck -a phone Okay, so here you go. This is kind of a neat little thing where you're now able to pluck Pikmin using your, uh, your whistle. That's it. Go ahead and grab these guys and let's get the heck out of here, shall we? See what the president has to say about that. Away we go! All right, let's see what treasures we got. This pushes us way past 10,000. Unfortunately, a large amount of Pikmin died in that one, but some of them were also gained from the Bulbman, so... But that's, uh, that's a completion of... the Perplexing Pool. And it was actually at the beginning of the day, so... 
I guess we're gonna wind up, you know, just ending the day. I don't really have anything else I want to do. But we finished! You've repaid the entire debt! There it is. I think the game actually forces you into this cutscene. I think it ends your day, so hopefully you're ready for that. So there we go, Hokotate Freight, debt free. Wonderfully done, everybody. <laughs> it's the president looking like a uh, a dead a dead Jedi. We're gonna head back to Hokotate with our bounty in tow. Good for us. We have done it. <laughs> Only the red Pikmin matter, and the blue ones. Everything else is uh, dumb, and no one cares. Just kidding. And there's the yellows getting a little bit of screen time. But the bold men, nope. Purples, whites, don't care. But it looks like we forgot somebody. Uh-oh. Well, that's a problem. Looks like we're gonna have to fix that, maybe. Yeesh. Louis lost again? Who would have thought? We're still gonna need help though, right? We can't finish this game solo. That would be inconceivable. And some credits. Okay, great. I don't actually know how long these are. I didn't expect these to happen at this point, but you get a little bit of a cutscene of Louie just kind of run, running around and whatnot. So I guess I will just let these play out and then I will conclude this video. There will be obviously more. This is not the end of the Let's Play. I'm going to finish it up. And there's obviously, it's not post-game content exactly. I wouldn't call it that. But there is um, plenty more to do. We're going to 100% this. We're going to get all the treasure. So I will uh, catch you guys at the uh, end of this video. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. This has been Pikmin 2. I've been D-Mike, and we'll be doing uh, some more treasure collecting in the Valley Repose in the next episode.